everybody on this Wednesday hump day, July 28th. We thank you for joining us on the Pix 11 Morning News. I'm John Muller. Yeah, and it's certainly acting like a hump day. It Rain is. early yeah. this morning. We're going to figure all that out. I'm Kirsten Cole in for Vanessa Freeman, and we're going to start with a look at your weather and traffic with Marissa Torres. You know, it was supposed to be like showers for me this morning. It just rained the whole way in. It was just <laughs> like, Kirsten, Wednesday, Wednesday. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky you. I, I, I kind of see it as a free car wash. You know, rinsing There's off that some too. of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> That's just laziness on my part. But yeah, so some of you are going to be dodging some rain showers this morning. And even this afternoon, we're going to see some isolated shower chances. However, look at these temperatures right now. We're at 69 in Chelsea, 72 in Newark. Winds out of the west right now. That'll switch to more of a northeasterly wind later. But notice we have some mid 60s or so north and west, even the upper 60s there for Islip. So pretty uniform temperatures, but we are slightly cooler in the city by about 7 degrees compared to this time yesterday. Notice most areas, though, in the suburbs a little bit warmer, complements to some of those clouds that are hanging out. Now, we do have some showers and thunderstorms. Stuff indoors in areas where there are surges in cases, a lot of the tri-state falls under that category. Pix 11's Katie Corrado live in Long Island City, Queens now with the latest on all this. Katie was inevitable with infection rates on the rise. The return of the mask, the CDC issuing new recommendations as we deal with the uptick in COVID cases. The agency saying even those of us who are vaccinated need to put a mask back on in areas where there is a surge in cases. And a lot of that tri-state is right in that bullseye. PIX 11's Katie Corrado is live in Long Island City this morning with more on this. Katie, I know that this is really not what we want to be hearing right now, but it's what we need to do to protect ourselves. Connecticut, a well-known bear, unfortunately had to be put down after he was struck by a car. Oh, otherwise, if you're in the Hudson Valley and southwestern Connecticut, here's a look at your daily planner. Now, we should be at 85. That's our normal high. We'll fall short, but I'll tell you when those temperatures will rebound, and the next round of showers will time that all, too. we are uh, going to time out some traffic with Marissa. Hey, Marissa. And Stacy, and it's been a rather busy morning on the roads. We're going to take it over to 80 eastbound in Patterson. So this is an overturned jump drop. Yes, press secretary saying the hearing is a reminder of the shameful events of January 6th and the incredible bravery of the men and women who put themselves in harm's Egan way. now confirming a crash right near Fordham Road. So that's why the delays are so heavy. Uh, in fact, they've grown since we last looked at it. So that body, okay, it's Wednesday, July 28th. We are mm -hmm. making it through this week. We're making it through this month, although it doesn't really feel like July. 73 degrees outside. Thanks for being with us, everybody. I'm Betty Nguyen. We'll take it. All right, we'll yeah. take those kind of temperatures. I'm Dan Manorino. Yes, let's bring the whole team. Dan and Monty, uh, <laughs> Live at P17X in the South Bronx with more on these artistes. I sing. Am I good at it? Not necessarily. I like to paint. Right. Am I good at it? Not at. But yeah, you know what? I feel like with art, anything goes. You just That's splash true, something right? on and it's art. Right. And you no stay one within can the judge lines. You. You can true. do this. Very right. true. And I, I love the These guys are good, though. Right? I know. They're really good. And the wording on that says, This is us. And I love it that they are doing it. So it yeah. truly is yes. them. All, All right, right, Rebecca, Rebecca. Thank you. 10.09 right, right now, everybody. We're taking it different ways. Many people applauding her for yeah. the strength and coming out and saying, you know what? Mentally, I'm not ready to do this right now. $100 right. if you go and get the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine at a city-run site. The mayor just announcing that. Yeah, uh, Mayor Bill de Blasio saying that uh, at his daily press conference. I mean, boy, they really upped the ante on this. First it was, you know, you would get maybe a lottery ticket, this, that, or the other, some freebies, a free donuts all across the area, reminding all of us that those mom and pop shops that are open and ready to serve need your support. Yeah, this week the spotlight goes to a hatchet throwing facility that's providing a unique service at a very unique time. Pay attention to the end because I don't believe it's I don't either. True. Andrew Ramos mm -hmm. has more. <laughs>